Let's see the summary of the lesson The Beggar by Anton Chekhov. One day, Sergi, a lawyer, was stopped on the street by a poor hungry man. This man, a beggar, had been a school teacher but had lost his job because false statements had been made against him. Sergi thought the beggar's face looked familiar. The beggar then told him that he had been offered a job in Kaluga province. He shamefacedly asked Sergi for travel money. Sergi's eyes now fell on the poor man's shoes, one own high and one own low. He suddenly recognized the beggar. He told the beggar that he remembered him begging at Sadovia Street. At that time, the beggar was pretending to be an expelled student. The beggar, surprised, denied the claim. Sergi, furious, accused him of lying and threatened to call the police. The beggar then admitted to lying. He told Sergi that he used to be a singer in a choir but was fired for drunkenness. Now he lied and begged for money. What else could he do? Sergi told him to work rather than beg. He hired the beggar to chop some wood for him. Once reaching home, Sergi called his cook Olga. He asked her to give the beggar some wood to chop. The beggar hesitantly followed the cook to the shed. As Sergi watched from the window, Olga came out of the shed and angrily threw an axe at the beggar's feet. The beggar tried to raise the axe and chop a piece of wood, but every time he tried to do so, the wood slipped from his grasp. Sergi witnessed all this, felt sorry for the beggar. It was obvious that the beggar's drinking had made him unfit for labor. However, an hour later, Olga came and told Sergi that all the wood had been chopped. Sergi was satisfied. He asked Olga to give half a rubble to the beggar. He also told Olga that if the beggar wanted to, he could come every month to the house. Work could be found for him. So the beggar came to Sergi's house every month. Olga found some work for him. He was paid 20 to 40 kopecks every time. Sergi hired him to move furniture when he decided to shift to another house. However, the beggar, though sober, roamed around the house, barely helping at all. After the moving was done, Sergi called the beggar to his study. He was pleased with the beggar's progress. He finally asked the beggar for his name. The beggar replied that his name was Lushkov. Sergi told Lushkov that he had found some employment for him. He gave Lushkov a letter of recommendation for some copy work. Two years went by after that. One evening, Sergi was buying tickets for the theatre when he spotted a familiar face. It was Lushkov. He was wearing a fur collar coat and seal skin cap. Sergi happily called Lushkov and asked after him. Lushkov informed him that he was a notary now. Sergei delighted congratulated himself for setting Lushkov on the right path. Lushkov thanked Sergei for his help. Lushkov then revealed that though Sergei had put him on the right path, it was in fact Olga who had saved him. It had been Olga who had chopped all the wood for him. Her selfless act had a profound effect on Lushkov and set him on the path to redemption. Lushkov then took his leave of Sergei and went inside the theatre. Thank you.